How you doing everyone? Independent Joe back at you with another one. Welcome back. Today uh, we've got a celebration. We're celebrating summer with old Saint Nick. Um, normally uh, when he's out there scaring people by going through their chimneys and uh, uh, giving their stuffing stockings and giving their kids presents and all that, you know, uh, it's really uh, scary because he's basically breaking an entry. Well, in the summer, what he likes to do is make whiskey. And uh, he made this whiskey so that uh, everyone can enjoy. Uh, this right here is your uh, estate reserve, your summer rye whiskey from very old St. Nick. And we all know he's very old. Um, I, at least I've know I've heard about him since I was born. So, and I'm pretty old. So there you go. And um, now I'm growing the beard. So, wait a minute. Am I Saint Nick? Uh, pr probably not. Probably not. But um, yeah. So very old Saint Nick. Um, what can I say about this bottle? This bottle is maybe four years old. Uh, plus minus don't know because there's no age statement on this one right here i know that it is 117.4 proof um i know that it's a batch uh, k tac 4 c tac 1 uh, but that 4 could be a y c so i'm um they've had, whoever whoever saint nick has some very bad penmanship on here so um um, it's either a 4C or a YC on the back of this bottle right here. It does give you some pretty good details on how they make this whiskey or presumably make this whiskey. Um, but it is said that it's sourced. So I don't, uh, I'm unsure about this bottle. Um, maybe that's why it's still on shelves. I bought this when it first showed up at the stores, um, I think back in May. And I was like excited because I was like, oh, look at this. I get I get to get some Old St. Nick. Well, well, there's a lot of bottles still in the, in the uh, stores. And um, I don't know if that's due to the price or if that's because of maybe because they're, they're, they're not uh, really um, open about what's in this bottle. I'm, I'm not sure. But on the back it says uh, they make it using um, their own limestone water that's subterranean by the way. Um, their own limestone ponds that they have. Um, they also um, uh, use uh, freshly milled grains on site every day. Um, those same grains like the, the, the leftovers uh, of the mash, um, they feed it to their, their cattle, their, um, their longhorn cattle. And then, uh, so and then and then they fer the, the, those cattle fertilize their future futurely uh, planted crops. So they, they call it the great circle of life of of this whiskey right here. It's a pretty good story if that's how this whiskey comes about. I'm hoping it, it is, but um. I can't find anywhere. I see a lot of, you know, different stories about how it's sourced whiskey. Maybe MGP, maybe, don't know. But um, Santa Claus needs to come forward and tell us what this is. But for now, I'm gonna taste it. Um, I also have the, uh, the Harvest Rye. Um, so uh, maybe in the fall, I'll, I'll do that bottle. Uh, depending on how great this bottle is um, or not so great depend you know it, it looks good so far uh, if you can see that um, very light oils on this no legs on that whatsoever it does kind of coat the uh, the glass so I'm a little skeptical um, it's only been sitting here for the past uh, four three four or five minutes so I'm still gonna be uh, flapping my gums a little bit, um, trying to figure out what this is. I know that they were established in 1986, and from again, from from what I can find, um, it they usually make these bottles using one to three barrels in small barrel batches, and 
minuscule, they call them, minuscule batches, uh, one to three to, to, to make these. So these are supposed to be kind of rare. Um, it is bottled by St. Nick Distillery, and it says it on the back again, but where it's sourced from is anybody's guess. Um, this, is, this does come in at a cast strength, uh, 117. It's pretty, pretty potent, pretty strong, so I can't wait to taste it, um, get these flavors going and, and seeing uh, what, uh, what I find in them. Uh, should be pretty, uh, pretty good. Um, yeah, so off topic, um, while this is airing out, uh, hopefully uh, you're going to get to watch uh, the game today. Um, it is Taco Tuesday, so don't forget to grab your tacos uh, while, while watching the game. Uh, it's the finals, first game of the finals, the Suns against the Bucks should be a, a good shootout. Um, that's mainly what the NBA has become uh, recently anyways, you know long range shooting you know doesn't matter um how far they're down and how much <laughs> ground they need to make uh, they're gonna try that three uh, i honestly don't really like that type of game and that type of style of play but um i'm not the coach and really can't tell them uh, plus i'm not an nba player plus i'm not as rich as they are plus you know what i'm gonna stop putting myself down because i'm starting to get a little uh, sad here um but yeah, so, you know, um, make sure you get grab your tacos uh, today, um, sit in front of that TV and, and, and enjoy uh, the NBA Finals. I know I am. Um, yesterday was, uh, what was it, uh, the, David and Kira had their, had their uh, uh, episode on, awesome uh, show, they, uh, The Executioner. Uh, came through and, and made a challenge for them, made them a blind of different whiskeys, and uh, it was a challenge between David and Kira, and of course, you know, Kira with a stronger nose, stronger brain, um, you know, just stronger in general, uh, just put the smack down on David, so David was out for the count, they did have at the end of their uh, little uh, episode there, an uh, awesome song, um, you should uh, check them out. They're, they're the Shelf Turds um, on uh, on YouTube. So you know, subscribe to their channel. Let them you know get show them some love. And um, yeah, because they I mean they they go all out on their videos. I wish my videos were half as good as theirs. Hmm. Half. No. No. I wish my videos were a fourth as good as theirs. Or I wish mine was a fourth. I don't know. It, something like that. I, I just wish mine were better. But it is what it is. Um, today, uh, uh, along with the NBA, which um, I'll probably be a, a terrible, terrible husband by sitting there watching uh, uh, the, the game go on. Um, but um, I have you know, uh, we'll be spending time with my, my wife of six weeks. Um, she says six years, but there's no way she could put up with me for that long. So six years, um, she says, she says, and, um, I say six weeks or so. I mean, it's gotta be, um, because like I said, um, uh, putting up with me, um, I can't, I can barely put up with myself. So, um, props to her. I'm going to be toasting to her in a little bit. Um, uh, maybe one of these days I'll bring her on and, and then we'll probably taste whiskey together. She's usually the one that tells me I'm wrong or I'm right, uh, mostly wrong, on uh, the flavors of the whiskey. Once I'm done doing these videos, she um, I usually call her down and she tastes them and she's like, okay, I like this one or I like that one. And then usually the opposite of what I like. Story of my life. But, you know, um, and it's, it's been a it's it's been a a, a a good run so far. We'll see we'll see if we can go six more weeks or six more years, as she would say. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is gonna be a pretty good day. Uh, spending time with family, um, tasting whiskey right now. So um, Taco Tuesday, um, NBA Finals. Can it get, can it be any better? I don't know. Um, it might be. Um, maybe I could just skip the NBA Finals and uh, 
but um yeah um so well back on topic um now this uh harvest rye or, or i'm sorry this uh summer rye that uh santa uh has put out um i'm gonna go ahead and nose it now let, let me get this over with um Okay, the, you know what? It's it's gotten a little thicker, I think. It's got some fingerprints on there. Has Santa been in my house? Jeez. I know the shelf turds have been in my house. Shelf turds, you stole one of my cups. Or did I send it to you guys? No, nah, I probably sent it to you guys. So, um, yeah. Looks good so far. You know, actually it looks a lot better than it did in the beginning. Maybe it's thickened up while it was in the cup. Maybe this is one of those um, rise that rises to the occasion we don't know but it might be so let's go ahead and take a take a whiff of this aroma wow right off the bat you get some uh, butterscotch on this a lot of uh, caramel candy uh, with a uh, you know uh, for it being on a farm uh, all the grains grown on a farm you definitely get that like hay aspect the straw hay aspect of it oh man that is definitely like a cherry cherry candy cherry feeling filling of a pie a cherry pie i'll just say cherry pie because this this is like a cherry bomb really rich in aroma barely smell any spice on it so i'm curious on what the flavors are going to come through at cash strength you never know what what you're going to get uh when, when you when these when these uh aromas kind of fool you into thinking okay well i could take a bigger drink than normal and all of a sudden that cash strength oh caves in your chest and um well um i think i'm gonna have to go ahead and uh cave in my chest now so i'm gonna take a drink and uh and, and get you uh, what, what these flavors are coming out of this uh, glass here. <sighs> wow. <coughs> Gotta crawl before I walk. Oh man. Gotta crawl before I walk. You should have took a little bit of a, a, a smaller sip on that one. Right as it was laying on my tongue, it was just like, I felt like my, my, my mouth was just on fire. But um, now those um, flavors have calmed down. The, the spice has, has dissipated. It was, it was more of a peppery cinnamon spice kind of mixed together, just like an explosion of, of, of heat. Um, but leaving, leaving back, leaving behind, uh, 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 the flavors of butterscotch, that caramel is, is coming through. I see, I said it right. Uh, caramel is coming through. Um, got those candied fruits, a cherry, definitely got oak, definitely got spice. I'm going to let it settle for a little bit. See if, um, what I'm getting on the finish. <clears throat> has a, I won't say it's a drying effect but if, if you ever had like peanut shells and you got that dust and it, it kind of settled in your mouth uh, where like you're cracking them open and that dust is flying in the air and you, you get it you know somewhat some, somewhat on your tongue and you got that that that, that sandpaper taste um, like uh, peanut shells <clears throat> excuse me so well, there, there's that flavor again it just burped and uh, they came up again uh, not a good thing, but, um, hey, well, it's not that bad, <laughs> actually. So, you, I mean, the, the flavors are really deep and rich. I, I'm getting most of the dusty peanut shells type thing going on. There's a little bit of mint in the back. It's a little minty, probably cut from the, from the rye. Um, still some of that oak there. I'm gonna have to say this is a medium finish. Um, it's not like a long finish where you just all those flavors are still going and going But there's just a couple of lingering uh, lingering flavors that, that stick around. I'm gonna go in for my second drink
Okay. Not as not 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 as um flammable as before, where where my tongue felt like I was you know like I had to get a fire extinguisher to put it out. Um, there is still that spice that is just attacking the nerve endings, um, but but overall just just a really good flavor. Hmm. This is an interesting one. This is a very nice one. Interesting, I say, because every time I go to the store, it's there on the shelves. It's like nobody's picking this up. Um, maybe because of the price, I don't know. Um, it's it's not over two hundred dollars. Um, I've tasted worse at two hundred dollars. <throat> it has a nice balance because once that flame, you know, once you get that flame. And then once the flame is out, you get those those rich flavors coming through. I don't know. Um, hmm. You know, I'm fine with it staying in the store because if I start sipping on this every once in a while, um, you know, because I, I got a lot. So I, if, if I'm sipping through this one once in a while more than others, which I don't see why not, because it's actually pretty, pretty darn good. So. Um, I don't know, man. A lot of nice flavors on the nose. Um, stays um, consistent as far as flavors just coming through. I still got the flavors in my in my mouth. They're not like as, of course, it really not none, none of the uh, bourbons or whiskeys that I've had stayed in for like full flavor the whole time. I'm like, oh wow, I just felt like I'm just eating uh, whiskey or bourbon. No. Nope, nope, but it but it does stick around. And those flavors are very pleasing to the nose. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, uh, I don't understand. Maybe, um, maybe they just don't like the story because it doesn't match with uh, what people are saying as far as it being sourced whiskey. And they're not saying where it's being sourced from. Hmm. Interesting. If anybody knows, it comes across the channel, um, put in the comments, let me know, um, uh, if this is actually sourced whiskey or if it's, if it's, uh, what they say it is, it's, it's milled and grown and processed and, and they use their own pond water to, uh, to fill this up, um, the great circle of life. So if, if that's what it is, put in the comments, let me know because, um, from what I'm, when I'm researching, um, it's sourced. Um, story says otherwise. And so, but what is it about? What do I say it's about? It's about the flavors. It's about what I would drink, what I would share with people. And this is definitely one of those ones that um, for, for, for the more experienced uh, whiskey and, and bourbon drinkers, I, I'll pull this out and, 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 and let them see uh, what they can get or what they can grasp from some of the flavors and aromas from it because it's actually pretty good. I think it's pretty well balanced for me. Um, maybe uh, some other people might not think so. You know, but again, it's, it's, it's all about the value. And, you know, I always say the value is within you. So... You know, if you feel like uh, uh, this is something that you, you know, from from hearing those flavors, is that does that mean you're gonna get those flavors? I, I don't know. I, I would think so because they're they're pretty prominent, especially at cherry on, on the on, on the uh, tongue. It is crazy. Cherry candy fruit. It is crazy. Um, yeah. So that's it right there. That's that's it in a in a dusty peanut shell that's still stuck in stuck in my uh, teeth um, um, I, I like it uh, would I buy another bottle um, sure I mean I uh, right now I would if I knew if I I would say try it first because it is it might the, the, the upfront heat in the beginning mixed with butterscotch mixed with car caramel um, right up front um, might be off-putting to some people um, I, don't, I don't mind it so I'm pretty sure if I take another drink right now it, it would probably just be even keel as far as um, 
um, that those flavors just coming through and, and probably very little heat because my palate will be used to it um, being at cast strength and all but yeah so um, yeah so the uh, last thing I'll say is is um, uh, don't forget um, that challenge is still on um, if you think I said a movie movie quote I know nobody uh, caught the movie quote on the last uh, video probably because um, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, lecture guy giving lectures about how to treat people. I mean, what kind of guy does that? Jesus Christ, man. It's the 4th of July and you're going to give people lectures? Ugh. Yeah, I would have turned them off too. So, um, yeah, but there was a movie quote in that one too. I said from this video on forward. So, catch these movie quotes and um, you'll get your, yourself a... Uh, a uh, Starbucks card or a Dunkin Donuts card or you know something so something will be coming through you but you got to make sure you leave the comments in YouTube make sure you like the uh, uh, like the video comment which which movie and who said it and um, yeah and then uh, and you're part of it make sure you're part of my Facebook you, you know friend me or whatever and I'll friend you back and so that we can uh, you know we can communicate and I can send you those uh, gift cards through uh, Facebook uh, messenger so um, really appreciate you uh, thank you for tuning in one last toast to uh, six weeks years uh, with my lovely wife I appreciate you thank you uh, for supporting me and everything I do um, can't say can't say too much more than that because then I get emotional because you know us Marines are um, emotional type guys so we got to keep that in check sorry but um, love you care about you that's all I got to say um, cheers really spicy though if, if, if you don't like spice this one probably isn't for you because right up front you get all those flavors but you get that spice first so a, a very cinnamon very peppery mixed together explosion of, of spice um, it's, it's pretty unique um, as far as the beginning part for me and how it just kind of like evolves I like it um, I'll drink it you don't have to go buy it if you don't want to uh, but it's there I mean it's in every store so anyways before I start rambling again have a good night taco Tuesday NBA finals um, check it out uh, check out the shelf turds and um, their channel um, they, they have some awesome content very content very funny um, yeah so check it out uh, appreciate you love you guys take care have a good night